What's going on, Leo? This is Renee, and welcome back. In this reading, we're going to take a look at love, money, and also a general message. So stick around. If this message resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't, take a look at your other placements. Okay, let's get into it. What do we have for Leo and love? We have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay. And in money, what do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? We have your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. Okay. So whatever you're doing, Leo, it's paying off. It's working out. You know, it still may be in the process, but everything that you're doing to get ahead is pushing you into that direction. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Okay, let's get your general message. Okay. We have clear your space. Archangel Japhiel, get rid of the clutter. Clean the energy around you and use feng shui. Okay, so it's time to clear the clutter. It's time to get rid of that excess stuff. Time to clean your space, Leo. Okay, so that's your general energy. So, okay, let's take a look at your messages. For love, we have let go of control issues. So there may be some kind of need to control the situation, to push it further faster. Ooh, okay. I see why now. There's some kind of offer on the table. There's some kind of proposal. And I feel like, wow, that's the reason why you're trying to control the situation. Two of Cups. Beautiful. And the Eight of Pentacles. In reverse so there's no need to work on the situation there's no need to force it Leo that's the issue I feel like there's some situations that you're trying to force that you're trying to make happen faster than they should but you or your person are already in this Queen of Cups energy so there's no, no need to rush anything further it's already happening just let things go with the flow and let things just expand and grow naturally, okay? Because you have this love here. Look at this. You're very social. Um, you have the, the support of your community. This is family. Happy family, happy life. So there's no need to try to be all up in your head about the situation. Don't be a prisoner of your thoughts, Leo, okay? Don't be a prisoner of what could go wrong. Take a look at what could go right, you know? There's a lot of happiness here. What's left unsaid is going to be unsaid, but it will eventually come out. And, you know, there's happiness here. So don't worry about this. these things that may be revealed later. You know, these secrets and mysteries are meant to unfold in time. Not all at once. Okay, but I, I feel like there's a lot of happiness around you, Leo. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify. For Leo, let's go ahead and clarify. What is this offer? Tell me about this proposal, this offer of love. I see the two of cups here. That's beautiful. Tell me about this offer, Spirit. Give me a message. Tell me about this offer. Oh, the cards don't want to shuffle. Okay, tell me about this offer. What messages do we have for Leo? Okay. The Six of Swords. You're moving into a much more calmer space. Uh, you could be literally moving with this person, moving in together. But I feel like the direction that you're moving in is leading you into a very calm, peaceful place, right? And we have the Queen of Pentacles. 
So this is very stable. This is also very supporting and very nurturing. The person who you are with is actively supporting you. You know, they, they want to nurture and see this grow. Look how she's looking at that pinnacle. So your partner, your mate wants to see things flourish. They want this harvest, right? But they're looking at this pinnacle with such admiration, such love and affection. So I feel like, you know, the situation that you're in is being more stable. And we have the Hierophant on the bottom. So this could definitely lead into something more spiritual, something more committed, something more permanent, right? Because the Hierophant can mean marriage, okay? So, and, and you have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So there's some unfinished business someplace. You know, there's something that you don't want to end. You don't want something to end right now. Um, but there may be some kind of actions you're needing to take. And um, it could, for you, Leo, I feel like, I feel like this has to do with someone else. I feel like there's some actions that need to be taken with someone else. So someone else needs to know that what you're working on is permanent with the person that you're with. Right? I feel like there's someone kind of trying to come forward making some kind of accusations or moves. But you're in this balanced state where you're like taking the right path. You know? You're taking the higher road. And I feel like where this is leading you is going to be very, very successful, right? Hmm. Okay. So let's take a look at money. What's going on with Leo's money? Give me a message for money. We already see that love is going well. We just need to slow down a bit and let things progress naturally. Right? Because whatever situation that you're in, I feel like it's going to lead into a permanent situation. Okay? So now let's take a look at your money. What hard work is paying off for Leo? What hard... Oh, the King of Pentacles. So you're, you're in it to win it. You're not holding back any bounds. You're like, I'm trying very hard to be successful. And I feel like that's exactly what you're going after. Okay. We have the star. So people see you as a star. They may see you as a beacon of light when it comes to your finances. You may be pretty good with your finances, but I feel like you're working on getting much better. Okay, because you have this abundance, this growth, this presence about you, this powerful presence, you know. You could be trying to start a business, you know, trying to get something off the ground. And I feel like that's something that you are definitely going to be doing. So whatever you're working on, I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of abundance. Yeah, there's going to be some struggles along the way, but I feel like, you know, where you're lacking right now, you're definitely going to find abundance later. Okay, so it's all about the, it's all about winning the race, but winning the race at a slower pace, right? Um, finances and abundance. It's not something that comes overnight unless you're lucky enough to win the lottery. You know, um, abundance takes time, patience, building. So whatever struggles you're lacking at, at the moment, I don't feel like you'll be lacking at them for very much longer. I feel like there's going to be a lot of progress. You know, you're in it to win it. You want to win it all, at all, all terms, right? Hey there, Nene. Get down. She wants to be nosy and be all up in the video. Get down, Nene. Okay. So, 
Give me more of a message for Leo. The world. Yeah, you're ending cycles. You're starting something new, but you're growing and building. Okay, so this is really good energy because the seeds that you're planting now are going to be the seeds that are going to grow later. Okay, so let's get some clarity for Leo. Are you going to get down? Hmm? Are you going to get down? Yes, no, maybe. Yes, no, maybe. Okay, so I feel like, you know, it's time to... Think about your priorities. It, it's time to relax and just let things flow the way they're supposed to. I feel like that's something to do with them control issues again. Uh, but, you know, focus on yourself. Focus on what you need, what you want, um, Leo. Make plans, you know. Plan out your future. Plan out your one year, your three year, your five year, your ten year. Hell, plan out your your twenty year plan, and be elaborate. Be you know go into great detail of where you want to go, and then you know achieve them goals. See how quickly they come into you, right? Yeah, the Queen of Wands energy, definitely, definitely. At the bottom, we have the, the King of Pentacles again. So you are working on that coin. You're making action. You're not taking no for uh, an answer. You're working very hard. And you don't care what the answer is. You're like, I'm out to get this. I'm ready to go. You know, the Queen, she doesn't care what other people think. She just goes for what she wants. You know? And she's very assertive. She takes action. She doesn't just sit back and watch things happen. She's a doer. She makes it happen. Right? And the King of Pentacles, he watches as that money comes in. You know, he's that good investor, that good uh, financial advisor. Right? So I feel like what you're doing is creating a future that is going to be very prosperous for you. So what, what you're doing, I feel like you're on the right track, Leo. Look at this, the strength card. Yeah, you're, you're on the right track. The things that you're doing are setting you up for your future. And that's really good. Okay, let's get... I want to know a little bit more. Tell me what Leo can do to even better his situation. Tell me what Leo can do to even better his situation. The world. Focus. Learn from those challenges, from the struggles, past struggles. Learning from those. And really putting what you've learned to work. You know? Because failure is just an opportunity to succeed. Right? Um, because what you feel in today, you're going to have success in tomorrow. So don't take failures as a failure. You know, it's a learning process. This is not something that's going to come right away. This is something that you're going to have failure, 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 success, you know? So yeah, take those, um, challenges that you're going through and turn those into your knowledge for success right okay let's go ahead and get into your general message Ooh, okay so something's coming in very fast something is coming in swift we have a lot of movement here okay what do we have as a general message for leo i feel like your thoughts are moving very fast you know there's some actions that you need to be taking um, but I feel like I feel like Leo the things that you're wanting Ooh, okay love is coming in fast okay for some of you that aren't in a committed relationship this relationship is coming 
Um, yeah, there's some kind of offer, some kind of good news, some kind of offer this person is making. I feel like it's right out of the blue. Oh, an emperor energy. And we have the justice. So, with the Emperor and the Justice, I feel like this person is very assertive. This person is very assertive and kind of aggressive in a good way, I think. Um, because we have the Justice card. Wow. This, this person sees you as someone who is very good. Someone who is very pure. Right? They see you as a really good person, as someone who wants to do the right thing all the time. You know, you kind of take the high road. Um, yeah, I feel like this area, it could be an Aries coming towards you. You know, um, we have the Five of Cups and the High Priestess. At the bottom, we have the Judgment card. So I feel like, you know, with this Five of Cups energy, there's some sadness here, okay? There's something that may be being released, but with the Judgment card here, I feel like what's being released is taking you out of your comfort zone. It's moving you out of your comfort zone, and that's where everything is going to be uncovered. That's where the mysteries are going to be unveiled, right? Because with this judgment card, I feel like there's a renewed hope here, right? There's, um, I'm really getting with this Five of Cups energy that this is actually sadness that you're carrying with you from the past. So that's the reason why it's taking you out of your comfort zone. It's taking you out of your comfort zone because you've been in this sadness for a while. So now with this person trying to come forward, you're like in mysteries, kind of holding yourself back to the situation. You're, you're looking at your needs. You're, you're looking at this as a great mystery, you know? But the veil is coming down. There's things that are being revealed. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about this for Leo. Give me more messages for Leo. The Seven of Pentacles. Give me more messages for Leo. The Five of Swords. You're wondering if it's worth the effort of trying again in love. You, you've been scarred so many times. You've had so many struggles in love. And you're like, is it even worth the effort to even try again? You know, that's where I'm getting the sadness. That's why I'm getting this high priestess energy. But um, with the judgment card, I feel like, you know, there's a need for you to take a chance. There's a need for you to take a chance to find that renewed faith, right? This is a blessing. This is a blessing, right? So not all love is the same. Um, some love is going to bring you stress, you know? What's done in the dark will come to light, you know? And the darkness, the moon, is feminine energy, that's something that we kind of, you know, dreams. Dreams come to you. That's when we have downloads. That's when we have this spiritual connection is during our sleep, right? So I feel like with this feminine energy of the moon, things are going to be revealed. Things are going to be revealed to you. You know, the on, on the moon card... The moon is there. The moon is present. But also the sun is right behind it. The sun is very masculine energy. And we can actually see more clearly during the sunlight. But that's where we take our actions from what we learn during the time of the moon. 
which is a very feminine energy, when we receive those spiritual downloads, that uh, spiritual connection. So during that moon time, we receive the spiritual connection. But during the sun, we take action on those things that were given to us, right? Those downloads. So I feel like things are going to be revealed to you on what path that you need to take. But I feel like there's abundance ahead for you, Leo. Okay? There's some kind of really good fortune. You know? really A lot of happiness, abundance, having everything that you need. Okay? And I feel like it's also giving you some kind of spiritual breakthrough. Okay, you're going to have more clarity, maybe even more clarity than you ever have before. Okay, but this is a gift. This is a gift that Spirit wants to give you, is the clarity to see past your grief. Okay, so beautiful energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a angel card. Let's get some angel cards for Leo. Let's get some angel cards for Leo, please. Okay, so we have Psychic Insight. What did I tell you? Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition, right? I love when spirit is on my side. I love that. I really do. Okay. And we have ancestor spirits. So you have ancestors who are watching over you, who are protecting you. Okay? Connect to your lineage. A family wound of a family wound or pattern can be healed now. Okay? So this may go deeper than just past events. This may go down to your childhood, down through your lineage. You know, this may be very deep. Um, but I feel like you're working through it, right? Because you also have a heart awakening. And I don't have my glasses on right now, so bear with me. Um, but awakening to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. Okay? So, beautiful energy. So, Leo, let's go ahead and get your angel number. What angel number do we have for Leo? What angel number do we have for Leo, please? Okay, 666, reflection. Yes, reflection. When you allow time for reflection, you allow yourself to see where inner shifts are needed. It's time for you to look at your beliefs and ask if this is serving me or if it's time for me to release this. Reflect, refocus, refocus, and readjust. Okay? Your affirmation. As I refocus on what serves my highest good, I feel myself shift into my highest self. Beautiful. Okay, Leo, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helps, okay? If this reading resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, make sure to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more at this time. And until your next reading, my lovely Leos, many blessings to you, love and light.